Oh, wow. <laughs> we didn't get it. <laughs> no, I'm rolling. Oh, you're rolling. <laughs> I got it. It's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. That's awesome. Tim Dean or AKA Texas Tim. Well, that's good. I was about to ask, do you have any nicknames? Texas Tim. Where are you from? I grew up in the Houston area. It's been a long time since I've been to Houston uh, and lived there, but that's where I grew up. What organizations do you run? Well, here in Cedar Park, I run the Cedar Park uh, Wiffle Ball League and tournaments. I also host the Texas State Championships for medium pitch and fast pitch. And I've been tournament director for the Fast Plastic National Championships in the past when they've been held in Texas. And last year I was the uh, sort of the tournament coordinator on game day uh, for United Wiffle Ball. How did you originally get into whips? So grew up playing the game as a kid and we actually started uh, not with a wiffle ball. We started off with a green rubber ball in the neighborhood and using almost like uh, slats for bats, like a, a shingle slat. And it sort of uh, evolved from there. The green ball eventually busted. And so we went to the local five and dime store and got a wiffle ball and really started playing with that and actually built the field when we were about 12, 13 years old uh, we actually built our own wiffle ball field and, and grew from there. What are your hobbies besides whips? That's a very good question, Ben. Uh, uh, if anybody follows me on social media, they know <laughs> that I'm a curler as well, so ice curling. So if you've seen the Winter Olympics, I'm one of those guys that curl, uh, throwing the rocks and sweeping the rocks, uh, and it's one of my uh, big passions that I do that a lot of people really uh, if they don't follow me on social media don't know that I do. How, how long have you been curling? I've been curling now uh, three years actually the Olympics come up uh, in January so it'll be four years this coming January I started right about the uh, the time the USA won the gold medal. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie truly is growing up, one of the things that me and my buddies like to do, we like to watch movies, action movies. So we followed all the Sylvester Stallone movies um, and we followed all the Arnold Schwarzenegger action films. So I got to tell you, I'm sort of, it's sort of cheesy when you watch them now, but those were some of my faves. Hey, they're, they're still great. Got to appreciate them. Cats or dogs? You know, we have two cute uh, dogs at the house, and I will tell you, I, I like both, um, And but we have two dogs. I'm going to say right now I'm more of a dog person. What music do you enjoy listening to at a tournament? You know, I have a playlist that's uh, on my phone. It's sort of a wiffle ball playlist, and sometimes I'll play it before the games. Didn't get a chance to do it today, but it's all over the place. I'm going to tell you, I actually have some Lady Gaga on my playlist. Um, I have a couple of country songs on my playlist. It's a little bit of everything, but I do. I grew up in the uh, uh, 80s music era, and so I really enjoy uh, 80s rock, 80s pop. Uh, you know, but I'm not a rap guy. What is your favorite bat? My favorite bat. So in baseball, old school, the, there was a Green Easton in the late 70s, early 80s that everybody loved. Uh, but I have to say my favorite bat is the water bat. I like, I like the plug. That's a great plug. Favorite pitch? Favorite pitch, a riser. When someone can really throw a riser well, the hitter uh, really has a challenge because you really think it's not going to come up. But I love watching someone throw a great riser. Do you prefer medium pitch or fast pitch? You know, I really like medium pitch for what it does in the growth of the sport. 
it really gets more people playing in medium pitch. It also creates more of a level playing field uh, in as far as competition goes. So I really have a, uh, a love for medium pitch, but I enjoy the fast pitch environment as well, seeing the top wiffle ball players in the country perform at that highest level. So I'm a little bit split depending on what I, I'm really aiming to do, whether I want to look for growth or I want to look for some really awesome, uh, great competition. I love them both. Scuff ball or clean ball? So I will tell you, in, I do not like the cut ball, so I'm glad you didn't bring up cut. I'm not a big fan of cut, and there's, you know, I have reasons why. But uh, I like scuff. We allow it here, but the only way that we would ever probably – uniformly try to grow the sport nationally if there was some governing organization it would probably have to go all clean ball and I don't think there's anything wrong with that right now some of the best pitchers in the country can throw a really awesome clean ball what is your favorite beverage my favorite beverage is diet dr. pepper very specific yeah like very that. specific <laughs> I drink at least one a day <laughs> do you believe in aliens I, I actually do believe that there is life out there somewhere uh, don't know what that is I don't have a really good uh, handle on that but I believe that there is life on other planets if you could see one MLB player play wiffle ball who would it be and why so in his prime I would have loved to see Nolan Ryan play wiffle ball and how well he could throw and how hard he could throw a wiffle ball so I would say Nolan Ryan Favorite TV show? My ta favorite TV show right now, uh, I am really big into the NCIS uh, series. I watch NCIS New Orleans and uh, NCIS. What is the best field you've seen? So are we talking a uh, designated wiffle ball field or any place that, that Just, I've seen? And it, can, it can be pop-up fields, it can be a permanent field, anything. I, I will tell you, I was very proud of what we, uh, as a collective group, w w was put out at United Wiffle, Wiffle at uh, the Revolution Stadium. Um, it's not perfect because of the infield dirt and stuff, but I think once we got it set up, it looked amazing. So the, the stadium atmosphere really brought something special to the national championships last year at, during United Wiffle Ball. But I will, I will tell you... Uh, that that's some of my fave. Past that, I think the fast plastic fields that we set up uh, a couple of years ago with the grass is some of probably the best grass that any of the wiffle ball players has ever played played on, and a lot of players uh, told me that. What is your favorite tournament that you've overseen going all the years back? I will tell you, um, again, I'm, I'm a little partial to what we accomplished last year you know, a wiffle uh, as a group that was collectively done by uh, a group of guys uh, with with a mission and fast plastic although I enjoyed those um, really all I did was show up game day and perform you know uh, uh, and, and I didn't have any decisions on on influence on format or anything like that so I really enjoyed the, the experience that we put out on the table last year with United Wiffle. Do you have a favorite video game? Wow, man, that's a good question. I have not played video games in years, uh, truly. Um, you know, you know, one of the, I, I guess, I grew up in the, the age of arcades, you know, mm -hmm. the big console arcades, and now there's, there's more power in your phone that you're holding right now than one of those big arcade games, but... Uh, you know, I, I grew up, I, I enjoyed playing Galaga, I, you know, and, and uh, but I, I just never really got into video games. One of my son and I really got involved in when he had a Sega Genesis, if you can even remember what that was, was a little, a little game called Echo the Dolphin. And so I played it with my, with my son. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you may have to Google that and look at what Echo the, the Dolphin video game was. It was it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed doing it with my son. That's, that's the best answer I've had so far. That was great. Gatorade or Powerade? Powerade Zero. What a lot of people don't know is that I'm a diabetic. So 
the reason I drink uh, Diet Dr. Pepper and Gatorade Zero is because I'm a diabetic and it has little effect on my blood sugar. So I really do like the taste of Powerade Zero. What is your favorite wiffle ball video? Favorite wiffle ball video? Um, there, one of the ones, and I, it's a one that uh, a guy named Med did from Florida years ago in an intro to the Fast Plastic Tournament where he's actually, he gets up really early and he, he's at the fields before it's daylight. And I haven't seen it in a long time, but he goes on and, and about the tournament. And it really did it in a sort of a humorous point of view as well. Uh, but so I would say if you could ever find it, uh, it's one that a guy named Med did on a fast plastic tournament one year. It was really one of my favorite ones that I can remember. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to, to see if I can find it and, and get it to you. What is your craziest whiffs related story? Ooh. So, I, I, all right, this is a good one. And I, I uh, uh, when we were building our fields and when I was a kid, we needed uh, some wood to build our press box. And so what we had to do, where, where's, a, where's a kid gonna get wood? I mean, we're 13 years old, where we, where we need to build a press box. So we went, uh, in the neighborhood about a half a mile away was the Pee Wee baseball field. And in the outfield, they had these uh, four by six pieces of plywood, four by eight pieces of plywood as uh, advertisement signs in the outfield. In the dark of the night, me and my buddy go to the field and we clip the wires off of some of the wood, okay? Put it on a bicycle, the, the have it held up off the ground with a pedal and so we set it on the pedal to keep the weight off the ground and push the bicycle back into the woods to get some wood we were resourceful although now look back a little illegal but we got some wood to build our press box got the job done we got the job done any advice to new guys just getting into wiffle ball yeah uh patience uh very few people can come out to wiffle ball and be a star right off the bat uh, we saw two new teams here today for their first fast pitch experience and they both finished last in their pool. But there's some good talent on those teams and uh, I talked to them today is just be patient. M most beginners have uh, growing pains as far as replicating seeing the ball coming in like that and at that speed and, and, and pitching. So I would tell any new player uh, that's getting into whiffs just to be patient ride it out uh, listen to people learn from others because I've seen almost every wiffle ball player I've ever met is very open to helping new players uh, learn how to throw pitches and give them advice on playing the game do you have any shout outs so um, want to give a shout out to my UF nation you know, uh, see you in a few months, but uh, I, you know, if this comes out in time, um, I'm going to the, uh, the Open in New York to help them uh, sort of be air traffic controller on game day uh, and do what I do to keep the games moving as possible uh, uh, and Golden Stick on, on the Open. So uh, shout out to Golden Stick folks and shout out to UF and I look forward to seeing you guys here in the next couple of months. And where can people find you? Texas Tim. So uh, I'm on Twitter and I think uh, the Texas Tim or duck pluck handle. Um, and you know, you could also find me on Twitter under Waterbat. I make the Waterbats as well and you can find me there. Uh, I'm on Instagram, although I don't use it very much. Uh, also under Texas Tim. And in Facebook, I do run the Texas Wiffle Ball Facebook page and also have a Facebook page myself. Tim Dean, if you want to uh, give me a shout out and holler at me and, and ask me a question or uh, anything you want to do. I love to talk with, and if you have a curling question, I can help you out there, too. That was perfect. Thank you. All right.